welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really exciting to share with you guys. I actually recently just got all of the new Urban Decay Revolution Matte Lipsticks and they are amazing. I'm in love with the color pigmentation, the variety of colors, and the product itself because they are so moisturizing, so comfortable considering that they're matte lipsticks with a matte finish, they don't feel like it. They feel very, 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 very comfortable, very moisturizing, which is odd because usually matte lipsticks don't offer that. And they're definitely comparable to the original Revolution lipsticks from Urban Decay, which I found amazing. So they released nine new shades that have never before been seen. I actually only have seven to share with you guys because the other two colors were a little bit too cool toned for me. There was a bright purpley color called Bittersweet and then a sort of red orange, almost like a ketchup red that was also too cool toned for me called Temper. So I gave those two away, but I have seven left to share with you guys, my favorite colors of the bunch. And I thought, what better way to share them than a lip swatch video? A lot of people like to see what lipsticks look on, and I figured that would be the easiest way. And I thought I'd go over a little information with you guys before we get into those lip swatches. So one of the first things I wanted to mention is how creamy and non-drying the formula is. Again, very, very comparable to the original Revolution lipsticks from Urban Decay. These are rich and buttery. They have avocado, olive oil, and shea butter, which again, moisturize the lips and help take care of that very delicate skin area on the mouth. And they come with vitamin C and E, which is fantastic. These nine shades have never before been seen, and I'm just really, really impressed with the variety of colors. You have soft nudes, you have brown nudes, you have purple, pink, reds. So you have a great variety of colors, coral colors, vibrant colors, hot pinks. I am in love with these lipsticks. And I also want to include the fact that I did test them out a little bit before filming this video and you get full coverage in one single swipe and they're definitely long wearing. So if you guys want to see what these lipsticks look like on my lips, just keep watching because the lip swatches are going to start. So the first color is a nude called Stark Naked and it's a light peachy nude, gorgeous, gorgeous color, a great everyday color. I've seen this look beautiful from the fairest of skin tones to the darkest of skin tones. So it's definitely a flattering nude shade, which it's hard to find nowadays because a lot of times when they're very light, they can wash you out and this one definitely won't do that. I feel it's suitable for all skin tones. This next one is called 1993 and it's definitely your nude brown 90s lip. Such a beautiful color. I could definitely see the girls on Clueless wearing this or in Melrose Place, just a beautiful 90s nude lip. The next color I actually don't have and it's bittersweet, which is a cool tone, bright purple. It just was too cool tone for me, so I actually gave it away to a friend. Definitely recommend it to people with fairer skin tones and people that gravitate towards a bright purple lip. This next one is called Menace and it's a medium fuchsia pink, just a bright punch of color, really, really pretty. I think this would suit all skin tones, just a beautiful color. have After Dark, which is a medium dark berry. It's a beautiful color for the fall time. I think, again, that this would suit so many skin tones because fair skin tones look beautiful with a darker lip, and I think darker skin tones would fare well because this does have a punch of color to it. It's not quite dark enough where you're not getting that pop of neon to it, and it's really, really pretty. It's a warm, beautiful color. color would be Temper, which is a cool toned red. I would say it veers on a ketchupy red, kind of like an orangey red, but it wasn't bright or neon at all. It was more of a subdued kind of red, but too cool toned for me, so I gave that one away as well. But I would recommend it to fairer skin tones. And then we have the color that I think is one of my favorites, or if not my favorite of the bunch, and it's called Tilt. And this is just a bright orange coral color. It's not quite orange, it's not red, it's somewhere in the middle. It's definitely a bright, fun color, and I think this would look so beautiful on so many skin tones. one of the things I've been loving about these lipsticks. I feel like many of these colors would suit many, many skin tones. And that's a great thing to have because sometimes it's really hard to find your color. So if you're ever stuck on a lipstick color, definitely turn to Urban Decay because I have found so many options from them and they all flatter me so well. Or maybe I'm just biased, but that's just my honest opinion. 
then the last two colors of the bunch are the most fun, I think. They're the darkest and they're the vampiest. So the first one I have up is called Bad Blood, and I love the name, and this color is just your beautiful, gorgeous Hollywood red. If you love red lips, you should definitely, definitely pick up this color. I highly recommend it over Temper because that one's too cool toned, but Bad Blood is gorgeous. I just love this color. we have is a deep berry wine color and it's called blackmail i love the name and this is a gorgeous dark vampy purple lip if you you can think this kind of reminds me of maybe rebel or diva i'm not sure which one from mac just a really dark vampy vampy lip great for the fall time again i think this will look beautiful on fair skin all the way up to the darkest skin tone just a gorgeous beautiful color Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I will see you in my next video.